everyone, it's Olivia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are organizing my library. And by library, I mean my bookshelf. Not this one, this is not mine. Uh, we just moved into this apartment and I kind of just threw all my books onto the shelf. So I went to go through them. I've been to Barnes & Noble twice this week and bought probably eight books, so yeah. But my mom always taught me when I was younger, you can never spend too much money on books. That's probably why I have so many and why I love reading. Oh, and I'm just so excited to go through books with you guys today and show you my favorites, show you my Harry Potter stuff. So let's get started. Here's some cards. I think they're birthday cards. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just found this birthday card from our old roommates, Brittany and Zach. And I just went to the movies last night with Brittany to see that Scary Stories movie and she gave me a dang regal card. Could have used that last night. Side note, terrible thing for us to do to go to a scary movie, even though it's PG-13. And we were walking in going, oh, it's just PG-13, we're not gonna be scared. No, no. I screamed in the middle of it and there's probably only like eight other people in there. Made a fool of myself. All right, so those are off the shelf. I actually have a stack of cards in my dresser drawer, so probably end up putting them there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I've been thinking about making a video about this because we have my middle school yearbooks. There's some good memories in there, I'm sure. And then we have a couple of my elementary school yearbooks. And then this book is actually the first book I ever owned, and my mom gave it to me my first Christmas in 1992, back before Nevin was born and took all the spotlight. All right, now we have this astrology book. Oh, there's a lot of those in here. So Tom just got me this one, and it's basically what attracts the signs if they're gay or straight. So I thought that was super interesting. Haven't gotten to that yet. Now I picked these up on sale at, um, Barnes and Noble, as you can see the little sticker in the bottom. And these are Unsolved Conspiracies and Unsolved Mysteries. I love conspiracies. Oh, got a couple we could talk about, but another video. Another astrology book. I don't know if I've read this one in a while. Well, this is a good one because it tells you like what sun signs you're good with, but it's all about the chart. That's the problem. Not about just your sun sign. This one is super fun though. This is everything bad about your sign. My favorite thing about signs are the bad things. And unfortunately, there's one sign that I literally only know bad things for, and I was just talking about it last night with Brittany. So I need to kind of learn more about that one because I'm a little biased towards it. Um, this is a birthday book based on the day you're born. This is an astrology book. Again, astrology of the moon, which I haven't even gotten to read yet. Astrology Incorrect. I don't think I've read this one, actually. Oh, gosh. This... Oh, this is where I started that Tales and Tea segment. Got a lot of notes in here for that, which I deleted. And I think I'm just going to do random stories now. Oh, and I started going to therapy. That's a whole other video. And did some note-taking in there. Oh, and then I had some astrology notes, of course. Yeah, that's about it in here. I think that first solo trip to Nantucket that I took, got some notes from that trip in here. All right, moving on. We have astrology, not astrology, astrological oracle cards. So if you're into tarot cards, it's kind of like that, but you get, I believe it's, you get the sign cards, you get, it's signs, houses, and planets cards and then I have karma cards which are like tarot cards as well except they are I actually haven't opened these in a while let's take a look <laughs> these are the ones with the planets and the houses and the signs so I mixed that up so these cards I'm actually not sure what they are let's check it out so these oh these are just planets and signs that's the difference. And you draw a planet and a sign in this. And on the karma cards, you draw a planet, a sign, and a house. 
and that's how you get your readings. Highly recommend. After that, I have this Paula collection. I don't know if you guys have ever read any of his books, but this is actually my favorite book ever written, and I try to read it once a year, just like the Harry Potter books, and it's called The Alchemist. I highly recommend this book. It, oh, I, could, I could just cry thinking about it. It's seriously one of the best books I've ever read. It's about this kid that wants to travel, so he becomes a shepherd, and ends up finding out what his life purpose is, and he tries to fulfill it, and it's just really good. It kind of reminded me of like a kid's book when I started reading it in the beginning, but obviously it's not. It's really good. I oh, Please read it. Actually, funny story, I was flying either to England from Ireland or from England to Ireland. Did I say that right? And there was this girl that was sitting beside me on the plane, and she actually was traveling by herself to different places, and she was telling me about this week she spent alone in Hawaii, and camped out, and I don't know, she was incredible. I gave her my copy of The Alchemist, because I always take it with me when I travel. I told her that she needed to read it, and um, either keep it or pass it on, or keep it going. And she actually told me that it changed her life and she was happy that I gave it to her. So that's a fun story about that. Next we have, <laughs> this is my diary from senior year of high school. Oh goodness. All right, we'll start with this one. This is a book that started as a, me and my friend Savannah, we started a quote book because apparently we just thought highly of ourselves but it's good to look back at this. And then I took this to Australia and wrote every day when I was in Australia. And then I took it to Ireland and tried to write every day, but I don't think I did. But yeah, so there's that. This is my diary from eighth grade until 11th, the end of 11th grade. Oh, I'll have to make a video about what's in here. Oh, there's some of my Nantucket stuff from when we moved though. We have this drawing kit my mom got me. Oh gosh, there's two more things here. Okay, so this is my diary from seventh grade. Some good stuff in there we'll have to go over. This is, I apparently started to write poems at one point. I put my classes from college in here. Oh, I made a mixtape, or not a mixtape because it was a CD for my friend that was moving across the country. That's in here and that's about it. So down here we have all of my high school yearbooks and pages that are marked out for when I do my next video on these. Oh, this is actually a birthday present to one of my friends that I never sent him, but it's still here. Then I have this Pro Tools book that I bought when I took a digital um, music class that I eventually dropped out of because I remember spending the first two classes on headphones and I was done. Then we have, <gasps> Natasha gave me these, my coworker, for my birthday. They're Harry Potter things. So we had a frog, some slugs, and the beans. We have another astrology book, Instant Astrologer. Now this has everything in it and the aspects. I still don't know aspects because it's really hard to understand. I used to separate these by all books that I've read, so that way I knew I read them. So we'll actually see how many books I've read. So first book on top is 13 Reasons Why. I read this in high school and loved it, and then I bought it and read it again, and then that show came out, but the book is way better than the show. So I suggest reading this because it doesn't take place today. It takes place 10 years ago, I believe. So it's not like modern things. I read that one. Then we have The Vacationers. I read this one. It was very good. It's about a family that travels to, I believe, like Italy or something. And it's about her vacation. And yeah, I love books about travel or affairs or the beach or beaches and the affairs. This, The Hidden Summer, I have not read yet. So I'm gonna put that in a different pile. Uh, let's see, same beach next year. I thought this was gonna be a huge book about affairs, so I bought it, but it's still good. It's still really good. It's about this guy and his family go on vacation and turns out that his first love is on vacation with her family and then they just keep going to the beach together and it gets a little heated. Pretty good though. So I'll put this in the read, or the I have read pile. 
uh, The Secret History of Witches have not read yet. And then I'm pulling some of these to the side because I have something to say about my favorite author, which we'll go over in a minute. P.S. I Love You. I started reading when I was in Nantucket and then I haven't finished it. So I still need to read this all of myself alone. I actually don't remember what this one's about. I obviously haven't read this yet. Um, I am Brian Wilson. The Beach Boys are my favorite band and Brian Wilson was basically the leader of the Beach Boys, the starter of the Beach Boys. Mike Love just took the Beach Boys name. So he's traveling with them now and Brian is doing his own thing. But this is an autobiography about him and it's very good, highly recommend. I don't even read autobiographies, but I love him and he's just incredible and so talented. So yes, highly recommend this book. The Rules of Magic. I believe this is the prequel to Practical Magic, which I have not read yet. The Zone of Interest, have not read yet. Another book I picked up discounted at Barnes & Noble. So I actually have books way up there. I'm gonna grab really quick. This is just Harry Potter stuff, which we'll go over last. So give me a minute. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to put these so I don't spoil everything. Okay. I think I have them all. Let's start here. The guy that played Greg wrote this book about the behind the scenes of the Brady Bunch, and I think I've only made it to chapter 17. I haven't finished it yet, but I highly recommend this, especially if you're a Brady Bunch fan. This is all I watched growing up, and I know it's ridiculous, right? But it's true. The Girls of August, have not read yet, but it, it's a beach, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. Mistletoe Magic, got this on sale at Sam's Club, I believe, haven't read yet. Falling Softly, got this at the same time, haven't read this yet. Now I have Stephen King's It, which I think I started reading like the first chapter in middle school or something. Obviously never got through it. I just got this one recently when the movie came out again. Speaking of the old one, I mean the new ones are good, but the old one, with Tim Curry. I just love Tim Curry. It was obviously kind of, you can't beat that. I think eventually I'll read this, but I get so scared from literally anything. I don't know if I'll be able to handle that. The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. Now this book, I got halfway, where's the other one? There's a book in here. <gasps> Where is it? Oh my gosh, it's not in here. Oh, my mom has it. The reason I have this book is because I originally picked up something Queenie Hennessy like letters, letters from Queenie Hennessy or something. I don't remember what it's called, but I originally picked that up and I was telling my mom about it because I loved it because it's about this lady who has cancer and she's dying in bed and she's writing letters to this guy that she's always loved but was just friends with. And it turns out he ends up walking all the way to her to see her before she dies. Well, my mom actually read this one, which is his story. This is a story about him walking to her while she's writing the letters. So it's just funny how that happened and I haven't gotten through this one yet because I honestly stopped reading it because I kind of have to be in the mood for certain books and I wasn't in the mood. But eventually I'll finish this. Into the Wild. This movie was amazing but I have yet to read this. Red Rising Tom gave me and I still haven't read it. Honestly, don't know what it's about yet. Sorry. The Book of Speculation. Haven't read this yet. The Soul of an Octopus. Okay, so I was at Barnes and Noble and, of course, and I saw this book and it's basically about how octopuses are have different personalities and I thought that seemed super interesting. Then I have two more Zodiac books. <laughs> oh, Practical Magic. Love the movie. Summer Secrets. Pretty sure this is oh, on sale, Barnes & Noble. About, I think it's sisters that go out on a boat and then someone dies or something. These books, I don't know why I bought. Why am I like this? Um, it's called Autumn Brides and Summer Brides. The Mystical Backpacker. My mom got me this for my birthday. About someone traveling alone. Um, Paris for One, another story about someone traveling alone. I'm Watching You, I got this from Tom's mom. It seems pretty good. I'm not really a horror reader, but I picked up this book at Barnes & Noble, sponsor, just kidding. And I started reading it and not even a hundred pages in and I was creeped out. This book is very good, highly recommend. The Library at the Edge of the World, still have to read it. The Summer I Turned Pretty. This is the trilogy, so Summer I Turned Pretty, it's not Summer Without You and we'll always have Summer. Summer at the Beach book, me. I mean, that's just... November 9th, great book, highly recommend. It's about this girl and this boy that meet up every year on this day and all these secrets come out, mm, so good. 
recommend. And then the notebook, of course, I had to read it on sale, so that's why I got it. And this was my Nan's favorite movie, and she always said the cutest thing about it, so I had to read it, and the book is so much more heart-wrenching. So if you haven't read this yet, and you like the movie, you should read it. I have this music affilia. Did I say that right? And this is basically a book about your brain on music. I have a book called Your Brain on Music. I think it's at my mom's. I haven't read it yet. It's super interesting because it's just how you react to music. Other stuff on my bookshelf was Secret Language of Astrology. I think this is on sale now at Barnes & Noble if you're interested. And then I had <laughs> my uh, Danby radiology pass thing so I can take x-rays on people now. Uh, Brittany made me this. It's like um, a big book to put your astrological notes in. The last thing, well not the last because I have Harry Potter stuff, but my favorite author. Okay so I have a bunch of her books. So we'll start with first one I ever read was actually my favorite book and it is, oh here it is, is The Castaways. Now let me just tell you this story about how I started reading Ellen Hildebrand. Is it Elin or Ellen? Because I've heard it pronounced both ways. But anyway, I was in a very bad spot back in 2013, I believe. I was walking through Barnes and Noble and I saw this book sitting there. It was on sale. So I read the summary and decided to get it. After this book, I bought every book I could find of hers. And I've read, I think all of them that I have here, but I don't have all the books yet. This book is what got me started on affairs, okay? Because this is about four different couples that are literally sleeping with each other. But it's not about the sex or anything. It's it's not Fifty Shades kind of stuff. This is about just the sneaking around part. And oh, these people snuck around instead of like going into detail of what they're doing. So that's why I like these so much because it's just all secrets. I highly, highly recommend this book. This is what started me reading more and more. Let's go over some of her other books that I have. So she actually has a trilogy out and I only have one of the books and it's the first one so Winter Street and then there's Winter Stroll and Winter Winter Solstice. I can't remember what those two if that's the order or not but I kept not buying the second and the third one because I wanted all of them to be hardback or all of them to be paperback and this one was hardback and I couldn't find the other two in hardback so I haven't bought them yet. All of her books take place in the summer on this island called Nantucket and this actually takes place in the winter. It was a good change up for her. I'm trying to think some of these stories I don't even remember because I read them so long ago but I know I loved The Matchmaker. Oh very good one. I highly recommend every one of her books but I remember Matchmaker being very good and it's basically about this lady that can see auras around people and if they're in a good relationship they're pink and if they're in a bad relationship it's green and for some reason that I just really love that so this is very good. Barefoot? Uh, I don't really remember what happens. I gotta go over these again. I used to be someone that never reread books until I started reading Harry Potter and now I read those every year and then I read The Castaways again and I need to reread the rest of these. So she has Barefoot, Love Season, I'm pretty sure I read this on the way to Australia, um, The Island, Oh, I think this was my second one, very good. Summer People. I have to, I need to reread this. Silver Girl. I think this was one of her first books, I believe. Um, Nantucket Nights. Summerland. I remember loving this one. And then Beautiful Day. I remember loving Beautiful Day. But let's be honest, I loved all of her books. Um, Here's to Us. So good. Great book. And The Rumor. I love all of her books, don't get me wrong. I liked this book, but I think this one was my least favorite if I had to pick. Wasn't that big into that one. And then I actually have one of her newest ones called Summer of 69, which is gonna be a trilogy, I believe, in the bedroom, but I haven't read that one yet. All right, let's move on to the Harry Potter section. I'll just grab all these. To begin, this is a Harry Potter planner. This is A Journey Through the History of Magic, which my mom got me. I haven't read that yet, surprisingly. Oh, this is the Harry Potter Complete Quiz Book. Tom got this for me and it is awesome. I haven't even tested myself on this. Oh, that'd be a good video. And then my friend Dave got me this for my birthday two years ago. The Case of Beasts. So it's from Fantastic Beasts. It's just a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, a lot of pop out little thingies. And then I have these three magazines. So Newsweek, Celebrating 20 Years of Magic. Then I have Time, Social Edition, Harry Potter, 
and then Newsweek again, Harry Potter, the ultimate trivia challenge. I haven't even looked at this yet. What am I doing with my life? Then this is the complete film set, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the movies. Obviously I prefer the books, but my favorite movie is the third one, definitely. I always watch the fourth one, that used to be my favorite growing up, but now that I'm rewatching all of them, I love the third because the fourth, obviously you can't put all that book into one movie. Oh, now we have the Hogwarts Library. So this has Fantastic Beasts, Somewhere to Find Them, Quidditch Through the Ages, and Tales of Beetle the Bard. I've read the Tales of Beetle the Bard, but I haven't gotten through the other two yet. And then we have the complete collection of all the Harry Potter books. My mom got me this for Christmas because I was reading hers. She wanted me to have my own set. I just love these books. Should we rank them in order? Why not? Favorite book, book number six. Love that book. I think it's because of how Ginny and Harry get together, honestly. Least favorite book? Oh, no, we can't do that. Um, after the sixth book, I really love the fifth book, even though it takes so long to get through. My favorite chapter is in the fifth book, so that would probably be my second favorite. And then third favorite would probably be fourth or seventh. I don't know which one. Oh, the Prisoner of Azkaban is really good too. And then obviously I can't pick a least favorite because I would say Chamber of Secrets if Gilderoy, Ro eh, Gilderoy, Gilderoy Lockhart wasn't in it, but he seriously makes this book. It is so funny. But Sorcerer's Stone, you can't have a least favorite because it started the whole thing. I just love these books so much. I actually just started um, the audiobooks of them because my work commute is so long. Okay, moving on. I have the three that have come out, and these are the, the illustrated copies of the first three Harry Potter books. My mom got me these for Christmas. I told her not to, but she did, so I haven't read these yet, but I've flipped through them. So we have those. These books are gonna fall over. Last three are The Cursed Child, which got a lot of bad rep, but I didn't mind it. I see the plot holes, but I don't mind. And then I have, I only have the first one. I haven't gotten the other ones yet. The Philosopher's Stone in um, my house colors, which is Slytherin. And these are coming out on the 20th anniversary of each book. I think there's three of them out, but I only have this one right now. And it's cool because it starts off with a little bit about Slytherin. And then lastly, this girl wrote this whole book about Snape. I haven't read it yet but it seems super interesting. So if anybody's read this, let me know how you liked it. I'm curious. Okay, now we have to put everything back on the shelves. I think I'm gonna put everything I read together. <laughs> Why'd I do this? Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep all the Harry Potter things there. So I think that was a good idea. Oh, gotta switch to my bad side. Sorry, in advance. Hogwarts Library, because it can stand there. Fantastic Beast stuff over here. History of Magic. Maybe I'll speed up through this. I love how I was like, oh, I'm gonna put all my books in order and I'm literally just putting everything back where it was. No, I'm determined to have things in order, but only Harry Potter stuff can go on the Harry Potter shelf. That's the only rule. And I can't really put books like this, so it won't fit all of them. I might put them like this, and that's very upsetting to me. Oh, let's try it. We'll put all the LMs together. All the Ellens are together. What can we throw with Ellen? I guess things I've read. Oh, I'm already bothered by this. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like hiding books. I like all of them to be seen, but it looks like they're just gonna have to be this way. And this book sticks out. No, can't have that. Astrology stuff. How embarrassing. Alright, I think astrology and hollow books just can go up top. Oh my gosh, I forgot about my yearbooks. Uh, I need a bigger bookshelf. books. So adding to the collection we have the Forever Summer on sale at Barnes & Noble. Pretty sure it's about affairs so that's exciting. This is the Summer of Sunshine and Margaret 
also on sale at Barnes and Noble. And I think there's a little bit of a fair in here. Cape May, also on sale at Barnes and Noble. And there's definitely some affairs in this one. The Other Woman. This was more of a scary book. Yeah, it's about two people being in love with one guy and a mom that doesn't want to let him go. Sunburn on sale Barnes & Noble sponsor. Just kidding, can't make the same joke twice. Um, uh, what is this about? Probably affairs if I bought it. Oh, yep, yeah, saw the word affair. So the last one is I love you on sale Barnes & Noble. And this is about a world where marriage doesn't exist. Um, it's just contracts with people. I actually have two more astrology books but I'm doing so much astrology research right now. Let me grab them to show you though. Just kidding, I lied. One more astrology book and it breaks everything down. It is the best astrology book that I've probably ever read. And I've been taking notes on astrology from this book for the last ever because I'm either reading or doing music or painting or working. And I need to make more time for this. So that's actually my last book. I'm gonna stick out and be so upset but there's nothing I can do. And that is my organized bookshelf. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved going through all my books. Uh, comment down below if you have any book suggestions or any questions about the books that I showed you. Uh, let me know how you liked the video. I never know how to end these things. So I guess this is how this one's ending. Until next time. <laughs>